Mr. Debbie, you're going to start the vlog. Tell everybody good afternoon and happy Tuesday to all of your sunshiny faces. Aren't you looking at the camera there? Tell everybody happy Tuesday, guys. Oh, there comes Charlie. Charlie's coming. In. So, anyways, um, I've got Bravo here today. Bravo! Can you say hi to everybody? Can you say hi? Can I have a kiss? Can I have a kiss? You don't want to be nice. You're jealous because mom's giving Charlie love in the other room and you want some love too, don't you? I steal the kiss. Mwah! I get to steal another one. Mwah! <laughs> You're so cute, Mr. B. Okay, you want to get down? Anyways, guys, um, I just decided that I was gonna actually, I kind of like this setup. I realized in yesterday's video, I was like, I kind of like it because honestly, guys, I don't know if this camera is really like a wide angle camera because before when I'd hold the camera out, and I don't know if it's because this one's heavier, so I hold it closer to like myself. But I feel like the camera's like right in my face like when I'm editing I'm like holy cow it's like right on top of me whereas my other one I don't know like I said if it was because I would hold it further back or if it was because it actually was like a wide angled lens um if that was why and it didn't seem like it was so like I said close to me um and this one I don't know if it is um it might just be more of like a standard lens and not quite as like wide angled but um I did like I said I actually was looking through or editing yesterday's vlog and I was like I kind of like like the setup yesterday because like I said it wasn't like right on top of me I like that better and also guys with the other camera that Matthew has um I actually I'm ordering the hey you don't gotta be mean to him now Charlie's up here say hi Charlie say hi Say hi to all the people you like to just melt in like my arm into my arms like butter. Um, we're ordering new camera batteries for Matthew's camera because he was complaining and he's like, I literally can't record more than like two minutes without the batteries being dead. And I was like, okay, I think that's an exaggeration because I could record for like normally several minutes without them going dead, but they were pretty bad um, at the point by the time I gave it to them before I got this new camera. So um, I noticed that that was, like you said, a problem. And so, look at Charlie, you're just falling asleep. He's so cute, you're just so cute. Honestly guys, it cracks me up that these dogs are so much like cats. Like seriously, they, first off, Charlie likes to jump on top of the, the couch in the living room, on top of the like back of the chair. He jumps up there and then he stands on top of the um, like the back of the chair and then looks out the front door so that he can see what's going on. <sighs> Which frustrates me and then he likes to also stand at the top of the stairs and because we don't have like uh, uh, what's it called? Not a ladder. What are those things called? A railing? Um, he stands there and he peers out over the side of the top of the stairs. And I was like, he's gonna, like, one day he's gonna fall. But it's, like, something I feel like a cat would do. And then Bravo likes to lay in front of our heater. Right in front of the heater in the, the kitchen, or in the living room. He sits literally right in front of it and just sits there. And my mom's like, that's a cat thing. Because, like, my mom grew up with cats and stuff like that. And they would always lay in front of, like, the fireplace if it was on. And, um, so, like, if there's a fire going. My mom's like, that's, like, a cat thing to do is to, like, lay in front of, like, something that's warm. Or, like, on a radiator, you know, something like that. Um, and so, like, Bravo loves to sit in front of the, the heater and, um just lay in front of it and then on top of that too guys i kid you not i'll show you guys on my phone even my iphone thinks that the dogs are really cats because so it has like categories right and it says food animals dogs right you get in the next section and it says cats and felines like could it really be any more accurate that these dogs are actually cats <laughs> i'm not even joking guys like seriously, I'm I'm pretty sure that they are part cat. I think one of their parents had to have been a cat because they act like cats, they um, behave like cats, they um, are just, like I said, like especially Charlie, he loves to climb on top of things. Like I've never had a dog. You know, and I've had a small dog before. I've had Ike and we had like a 
medium sized dog too. I've never had a dog that like to climb on top of like furniture, climb on top of just things like Charlie likes to do. Bravo doesn't like to do it so much, but Charlie loves to like find weird ways to balance himself. Like I said, he climbs up on top of the back of the, the couch and like likes to look out the window and stuff like that. My other dog, like he climb up on the couch and he sit like kind of like on the arm of the chair sort of. But like Charlie, honestly, one time too, he almost fell off. So it's like on the back of the, the, um, couch and then the windows right next to it he fell off of here one time and landed on the windowsill and our windowsills are you know i mean this one's the same size as in the living room it's about that you know that wide is what he ended up landing on and like he still landed on it and then i caught him like afterwards like while he was standing on it because he couldn't get back to the couch so he's like standing like just on that little windowsill and then i grabbed him and I was like, seriously, like this dog is really part cat and his tail too, it's so long that it, I think it helps him like balance. Um, but Bravo doesn't like to really do that kind of stuff. He's very skittish like in a lot of stuff. And he hears me talking about him, don't you Bravo? Bravo, Brav. He left. Um, anyways, so yeah guys, my neck is feeling so much better today. I'm going to go to bed early again tonight, guys. I honestly was in bed, like, at a decent hour last night, and then I feel like all of a sudden, like, I've been consistently getting in the shower by, like, 1 o'clock almost every single morning, pretty much. And, um, it's ridiculous because I need to try and get to bed earlier. So I actually just need to take a really quick shower. Hopefully I can do that fast enough and then get to bed but um yeah my I was hoping that yesterday I would have gotten to bed earlier but I didn't so tonight I'm actually hoping that I will but um yeah guys I like I said my neck's feeling better somewhat it still feels kind of stiff and it's been like cracking all day I told you guys I'm like an old lady I can hear them like cracking like my shoulders and like my shoulder blades and like my neck is like really bad but I guess that is good though because it's relieving a lot of the pressure um, which is like how it felt like in my whole like neck and everything like that. The other thing too that I noticed that happened twice in my ear was it sounded like like I was almost underwater like for a couple seconds like it really weird and I actually wonder if it had something to do with my neck being so stiff that it's like hurting like in my neck or ears or something like that because of my neck being all like I said messed up from yesterday or I guess possibly Sunday was when it happened um but I am I'm feeling a lot better it's just I feel, still feel stiff and like sometimes if I'm like bending the wrong way I feel like as the day's gone on today it's gotten worse I uh, actually yesterday too it actually felt better I I think when I was up doing things instead of sitting down like sitting down actually was making it worse but when I was like up and stuff like that I was actually feeling better so I guess that's a good thing but I did get my sales papers today so I was semi going over those but I think that I want to like wait until um I don't know I will like I said I'm, I probably will just wind up doing like the produce and the meat stuff first and then get into all of my deals for the week it's just I want to wait until like the checkout 51 app um has the new week's rebates and then also too I want to find out what the Ibotta bonus is for this week if there is one um because normally there seems like there's one almost every single weekend like some different type of weekends um bonus but I want to try and see if there is one to know how many things I should try and get for this week and then also um I'm thinking about and that's what I was working on part of the day today was doing a Aldi price guide and I want to keep track of when the prices are fluctuating and um, like keeping track of when they go up or if they've come down and stuff like that if it's a you know a good time to buy that product or if they've gone up in price like I noticed which in all these ad it doesn't even say but the spinach that I just bought last week for 119 is actually down to 99 cents for the same you know size so I want to like I said keep track of that and see like oh great now that's a really great time to you know get that spinach because it was on you know a decent price like last week you know cheaper than most other grocery stores but now this week it's even cheaper than that like that's a really great price 
So, um, yeah, I, like I said, I want to keep track of that and then also to just like, if it's a better time to get some one of my products with a coupon or if it's better to, um, just get the Aldi item because I wouldn't want to pay more money using a coupon or, you know, paying the same price or almost the same price for an item using the coupon when I could just save money and time and not have to hassle with, you know, the coupons and stuff like that and just get it at Aldi. So, um, like one of the things that I did was I, I think I got the, I think it might have been the sweet and sour, or maybe it was a stir fry or something like that. The surf, stir fry sauce or sweet and sour sauce. One of them at Walmart and it actually ended up coming out to be, I think it was like 25 cents cheaper per bottle getting them at Walmart doing the, I think it was like the saving star rebate. I think it was like two weeks ago than getting it at Aldi. I think it was like $2 at Aldi, but with the rebates at Walmart, getting the name brand was actually 25 cents cheaper. So I was like, oh yeah, I'll definitely go with that one. Um, and then I'll save it to do my freezer dinners, you know, some saving money instead of just being like, oh, I'll make this this week with the freezer dinner or something like that. And then have to go out and also buy the extra ingredients that I need to make it. And knowing the price of something to find out, should I get it with a coupon? Should I get it with a deal or something like that? Is it a better price? One of a few weeks ago too, they had sloppy Joe sauce, I think at Caputo's. It was like one of the sales, like buy five, save $5 or something like that. And it was like, 35 cents or something like that for a can of sloppy joes um and it ended up being cheaper i think than what the aldi price was was, was maybe like 50 cents or something like that per can or you know something 75 cents or whatever and so i can't remember the exact price but i figured that it was actually cheaper with going with those and that's actually what i'm using to make my freezer dinners for this week i got ground beef on sale so i'm using those now instead of again going to aldi and getting the stuff that i need i got it on sale then but i'm gonna do like a price guide kind of thing to keep track of the um the that and I think I'll once I have a little bit more like accumulated and more of the products then I'll actually post about it on my blog but I want to start keeping track just more for myself right now and then possibly once I have more things that I've either bought or I've you know found the prices of at Aldi then start documenting that stuff and putting it in my blog all in a post somewhere um, and then also too, because they're ads, a lot of times, because I got this handy one sitting right here next to me, they'll have like this stuff on the back. And so I can always just keep track of that stuff too, even if it's things that I normally wouldn't buy. Like I normally don't buy their nuts because I can buy them in bulk cheaper at uh, Valley Produce or Caputo's, they'll have them on sale. So I don't always buy that kind of stuff unless like we really need it and it's definitely not on sale at either of those other stores but that's something that I know now what the price is at Aldi because of the ad and can add it there and of course the prices are always changing and stuff like that and so that's why like I said I want to try and keep track of the date that I either found it in the ad or bought it or whatever and then also to um if it's changed in price if it's gone up or down since then so that's what I'm actually thinking of doing but I probably won't like post about it until like next like probably in January or something like that once I have more items accumulated into the list so anyways guys I will see you all in tomorrow's vlog you guys all get a little sneak peek of what's actually going on on the blog and that kind of stuff so I'll see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog though if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe and I'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow so bye guys